Right, so in this video, I'm going to go through something called Howler. And what that is, is it's an audio JavaScript library. So, say you wanted some um, a, an audio clip, a track or whatever playing as your site loads in the background or you want it to loop or whatever reason you might need some audio on your site. Um, it's it's really simple to put in. It's it's really lightweight, and it, it's yeah, it's just really good. And I think it's one of them things that I don't think many people will know about it. I think it's quite new. I think the um, the library that um, this guy I'll put a link to the website. I think his name's James Simpson. I think, and uh, that's the guy that come up with it. And uh, I think it was at the beginning of the year when it um, he released it. But it's really good. I mean, there's some really good examples on the website. And yeah, it's good. It's uh, it's what it does is it it uses web, the web audio API, which is something that um, that Google creates and provides, and then it falls back to HTML5 audio. So it's good. It supports different formats, but yeah, it's really good and it's really simple. I'm going to keep this video really short. So let's have a look. So if we have a look at this page, this is just like a really simple page what I'm doing is I'm including the library um, that's just this file here this JavaScript file you, that's just I haven't changed anything in it I've just took it straight from the Howler website and included it so what you do is you include it then you have this script here you create a new Howl which is pretty funny um, yeah you put in this variable sound new Howl then you pass the URL. I've got a test.mp3 and a test.og. I believe the og is for Firefox. Possibly in Explorer as well. I can't remember. It might just be Firefox. I think in Explorer I might use MP3. I don't know. Definitely Google Chrome and Safari uses the MP3. So yeah, so I've all the only um, parameters I've passed here is the URL, which is for the MP3, the og. I think you can use different audio types as well, but I've just used those two. I've got this loop set to true, so that means that the audio will loop. Well, yeah. And um, also, then I've just got dot play at the end, which means it will play on page load. And that is it. So if I go to this page now, I've got it's just a black page. So I've got it on mute. If I unmute it, You could hear the audio is playing, and I I turned it off quickly because, do you know what I mean? You don't want to hear it. But yeah, so that now that on that page, that audio would just loop continuously. And yeah, that's it. So what I'll do is I'll put a link. Actually, here's I've got the guy's website open here. That's the website. So it's pretty good. It's got examples, as I mentioned earlier. Comments, I don't matter. But yeah, it's got all the different methods you can do and everything else for it. But yeah, it's good if you want something simple. Yeah, I mean, if you want something that's like a, gonna play a playlist and all the rest of it, then you're probably gonna want to go with J Player. I might do a, I'll do a video on J Player as well. I think, I don't know when, but I will at some point. I'll do a video on J Player. Wait, that's when you would need to um, some sort of playlist or something like that. But this is great anyway. So yeah, it's worth checking out. 